All right, hello, good morning, good evening, and good night. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic as always because in today's video, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be introducing you guys to the Curve ETF list. And this video is actually brought to you guys by one of our fellow subscribers, Septic Skeptic, not Septic, you're not a Septic tank, you're Skeptic. <laughs> he, skeptic 727, he said, meanwhile, Curve's TSLP has appreciated 16% since inception. Keep it on your radar. So Skeptic, I want to say thank you. And I also want to say thank you to Albert 87 and L Albert, you and Skeptic both, both brought TSLP, which brought all of the curve ETF list to my attention. There's currently six ETFs on this kind of list. And what I want to do in this video is I want to show everyone what these ETFs are. They are high yielding dividend ETFs. And one thing that's really amazing about them is they fit actually really well into our latest video, which is the QQQI clip and TSLY reinvestment strategy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell you TSLP and I'm going to basically go over the strategies of all these ETFs, the curves ETFs. I'm going to show you the share price, how they've done compared to Tesla. I'm going to potentially tell you why they, I think they're very similar to TSLY and the yield max ETFs. Also, I'm going to show you their prospectus, how they write their options contracts, and we'll get into all that in this video. So if that does sound good, please do stick around. We're up to 3,489 subscribers. Let's try to get this to 3,400. Actually, no. Whoa. 3,500 subscribers. Guys, we're really close. We're 11 off. So let's try and bump that up there. Obviously, last video doing pretty good. I want to say thank you to everyone who watched that video. For now, let's get into this one. So Curve ETF list. They currently have some synthetic cover call ETFs for Tesla, Netflix, Amazon, Apple, Google, and Microsoft. So what I want to do in this video is just kind of introduce them to you guys. I don't know everything. They're the NEOS ETFs Trust Curve Yield Premium. I assume that's premium. TSLP. So this is the one for TSLY. Basically, they've only been out since roughly like... October 30, 20, October 23rd, 2023. So very new funds. Basically, they copy the same strategy as TSLY. They do a synthetic cover call strategy. And really, they are much rather pretty identical to TSLY. So just going to their objective fund here. This is actually okay. So this is TSLY's objective fund, but this is the TSLP's objective fund. And what I want to show you here is they do still write synthetic long exposure so synthetic long options on tesla so they write synthetic long options they are pretty much the exact same as tsly the only thing being is that they're under obviously a different etf kind of group the curve etf list and they just came out recently and the reason why for example skeptic mentioned that they're up 16 percent is just due to the fact that from october 27th the kind of most the, the date that they were kind of introduced somewhere around then we're going to that price chart on TSL TSLA on Tesla. You can see Tesla was down to about $207 way down here, right? And when we go and see how they've been performing over the past little while, we could see they've been in an uptrend ever since then. And obviously if they're writing synthetic cover calls on Tesla, we expect them to pretty much do the same, definitely appreciate. So that's what I think that 16% appreciation for TSLP is coming from. It's coming from that uptrend in Tesla, but obviously if Tesla falls, then TSLP is subject to all the potential gains, or sorry, all the potential losses of Tesla. Now, the one, different thing that I did find between TSLY and the new TSLP is that TSLY writes their at the money strike price options contracts, their synthetic contracts at a six month to one year expiration date, while TSLP writes theirs on a one month to a one year expiration date. I went on Google and basically it said that 30 to 40 days was the most likely the best option so we could see better returns with this one month to one year expiration date but i'm not sure i really think that these two are basically exactly the same as you can see here they have purchased long call option contracts so does tsly they have sold put option contracts and so does tsly sold put option contracts we have sold short option contracts so does tsly right here and then obviously we have us treasury short-term fixed income instrumental and cash which is pretty much very similar to we'll call it us treasuries that is their collateral 
and obviously also generates a little bit of income there too so the fund is very similar to tsly i don't see much of a difference the one thing that i would say that does work for this fund is when they pay their dividends so cur the curve etfs all of them um so nflp amzp this is going to be different to get used to but the amazon the apple google for the curve etfs they all pay on a payment date of the 27th of the month so for example november 27th that was this that was their payment date and their ex dividend date was actually on november 22nd so one thing that's really good our qqqy tsoy and clip reinvestment strategy where we have qqqy it basically goes ex dividend the very start of the month it pays us about the sixth we have yield max and tsoy which basically goes ex dividend on the sixth very close to that date pays about the 16th then we have the new tslp this is the curve etf which goes x dividend on the 22nd so we can take advantage of this payment date from tsoy reinvest it back into the other synthetic cover call etf called tslp get paid for that and then potentially reinvest it into clip obviously none of these reinvestment strategies are exactly perfect because we have to assume that on the payment date they are going to give it to us exactly on that payment date so we could then reinvest but this is another etf that you could use to compound your dividends monthly as i know that's what we did and we're talking about in the very last video so i hope you guys kind of got a, a sense of the curve etfs they are synthetic cover call etfs they are very similar to tesla uh, TSLY. I didn't really see much of a difference when I was reading through the profile. Obviously, don't take my advice, but you know, do the research yourself and look into it yourself. There's not much more I could say. You could see here that this is the TSL uh, TSLP option strategy right here, and it says that they do write synthetic covered calls, which is pretty similar to Tesla. Now, one thing as well is their expense ratio. Here, I could see a management fee of about 1.15%. It says total annual fee after everything, so about 99%. So literally pretty much exactly the same as TSLY in terms of their operating expenses as well. But yeah, this was just an introduction to the Curve ETFs. I wanted to show you guys how you could potentially play them for more compounding with your high dividend yields. Not saying that you should invest in them, but I'm just kind of bringing them to your attention. I could possibly do more videos like this if you guys obviously want me to do so. Just let me know in the comments down below. That is totally cool, like Skeptic, like Albert. One thing as well, my favorite one right now, one that I'm looking at is maybe the Amazon AMZP. I have it up here. And the reason being is that I think... T TSLA Tesla might be a little bit too volatile here. We could see with m pretty much massive price swings to the up and downside, which might not be the best for this synthetic cover call strategy. So I'm definitely looking at the Amazon one. That's on my list. Comment down below which one of the curve ETFs might be on yours. And I'll, I might look to make a video on the Amazon one soon. So if you guys did enjoy, please do subscribe. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. We're up to 3,489 subscribers. So please do that. I want to say thank you guys for sticking around and I will see you guys in the next one.